Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful chilly December morning here. Uh, snow on the way, what's the weather suggesting? Our environmental score has continued to drop, lovely. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> seven and eight degrees five degrees at the minute with a bit of a breeze and we're going to be dropping to freezing in the afternoon with some snow well that's lovely isn't it come here rinky yeah right um since we last spoken I cut all this grass back um, yeah I cut it all back and Mainly because when I reloaded the game back in after finishing the last episode, I went, what? There was like 20 odd grand more than this and realised that I'd spent 20 grand laying this grass. So I thought, let's take it down for winter, let it regrow back as part of the um, experiment. And then... I mulched the meadow. It was up to its first growth stage, so I thought, since it's winter, let's uh, knock it back a bit and hopefully get a little bit better yield on the next growing state. That says it needs rolling. Now, should I have mulched that, I wonder? I'm quite... I want the grasses back, so I'm quite happy with the way this is uh, beginning to look. Overall... <laughs> now, I've got a bit of a... I need to move some bits and bobs around. Namely, we've got, I think we've got materials in here that we've also got in, so I think we've got straw in there. Oh no, they're in the thing. We've got sorghum, a lot of corn, uh, soybean. I'm going to go and see. No eggs in there. It's good to know. I need to try and find out what's causing that. I think I should probably look towards moving everything that's in the other silo over at 44 I think is the field over to here but in the meantime I think we need to get ourselves a bit more we've got a small holding got the little open garden there I think maybe we should be looking towards expanding a bit with things that are going to help generate us some money. So, I'm sure the last episode... Did we check? Last time I checked, it said that December was the best month to sell everything. And now it's saying January, and it just seems to keep going a month ahead. So I don't know if there's some sort of issue where it just adds a month on to each one but the sell prices aren't bad on things anyway <laughs> and 
and today the dogs jumped into a table. So, um, we're going to put in a melons, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think they grow too well in here. A tree nursery. I think. Let's just quickly pop on the... That's not moved yet. We're just going to play a waiting game with that. Uh, zone markers on... Right, so products will come out on the right, product goes in on the left. So we could pop it in, go that way straight through. Should we risk it? We have. Uh, doesn't look too bad actually. The deer seem to enjoy it. Oh, we've got that, which is a little bit annoying. We're not really going to access this end, this is just to walk around. It's fairly flat for picking up. Let's give it a bit more of a neaten up. a bit flatter. Not too bothered about that. Um, that might get a bit annoying over time. But on the whole, I can probably make do with that. And that wood chip. Manure seeds and water and a brush oh a little pruner so what do we need we can make bamboo agave two things you don't really see grown in the UK yew trees and boxwood So we need to get water, seed, manure and wood chips. Although it says we've got seeds. 
Why is it picking up seeds from... That's from there, isn't it? Interesting bit of noise coming from somebody walking past my house. Um, hmm. Well, anyway, first thing to tackle will be when you're. As I feel, we've got quite a bit over. got quite a bit of <laughs> I feel like this was a lot flatter before I came along um, yeah we've got manure over at our BGA so we'll head over there pick up the, it's going to be the separated manure, I'm going to see if we can put it in across all of our I'll take a walk actually, I'm going to put, I'm going to see if we can put the separated manure over all of our productions that can take it I'm hoping. So I shall go and uh, start learning that. I need to, while we're over there, I shall put the, I shall flatten the silage clamp because there's no point putting any more in that now. I might as well start letting that ferment. Not that we may ever use it for another year or so with what's already in the, in the digester. Dee -dee -dee. Just, uh, clear a bit of space around the bottom. It's just going to sit at 97,500 for a long time. We'll use this. Because we've got it borrowed and And we can't return it because we can't complete the job yet. That's nearly four hundred thousand litres. That is a lot. Ooh, 
maybe we're going to end up having to sell a lot of this stuff because we've still got all of these as well with it being winter I think as much as I want to try and pay as much of the loan off as possible I'm thinking we start preparing for a couple more productions because Uh, these will be little small areas that we can diversify our setup to generate more income. We've got the allotment area and the market area, potentially turn the fishing area in. I'm still not sure what to do with the ground on that though. I want to see what happens with our experiments. I'm glad I packed a load of this down before I, uh, as I've been going through the last few months. Lovely stuff. Pop the cover on. Gone the whole way. Yes, it has. Right, next up. Um, will this tell us how much separated manure we've got? So let's pick a bit up and have a guess. Don't need that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, still 16. Go! Oh. That's not going to let me drop that there now. Oh, that's. I stand corrected. You can finish the joke yourself. Right. Two thousand seven hundred. Uh, I can eight thousand. Or more. Where can separated manure go? It's not really any help for us, is it? Digestate we can turn into things. Can we drop it in the chem shed? Is that a thing? I thought it had, but no. Okay. No. <laughs> What's going on? Yes, I'm aware that that, that they are not accepted. Okay. Okay. Let's 
let's get ourselves a trailer. Uh, what trailers have we got? What are the options? That little doozy will be perfect. That's that 8,000 litres. Tap out for fun, since we've got it. Since we've got it on. A bit of higher. Bum, bum, bum. Should have brought the got a conveyor screw conveyor up it. The store. I bought on the sale. Should have brought it. Should have brought it. Ah, oh, hopefully now this will pick it up. So I'm going to try and tidy as we go. Because there's snow on the way, it's going to look a bit. I don't want stuff all over the place. Bad enough that so I've got. Here we go. Separated manure and. Um, There's a pile of stones around there as well somewhere. On the side of the fermenter. Mm. Might not might not be a full trailer load, so that's not too bad. Now then, I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking out loud, can I connect a hose to this slurry tank and transfer the digestate to the chem shed with it? Is that something that would work, I wonder? Take it. Take it. Take it. Pick it up. What are you doing? Just keep appearing. It's like it's making more every time. Rather confusing. Uh oh. Well, just over eight thousand.
Now, obviously, can that be moved? By it can't move by hand, can it? Oh, she's come back as he wanted to be. Okay. I don't really want to make any more unless we can find a use for it. So. Let's start by taking this to the small holding. Bit of a big tractor for what we're pulling, but it's free to use, so a full tank of diesel in it pretty much, well three quarters of a tank of diesel. So why wouldn't we? We do need to find a use for this, otherwise it's a bit pointless as having nearly jackknifed. Picking seeds up from. It's not going to take it, is it? So what, we can sell it, we can spread it, but we can't use it as manure. <coughs> so that doesn't work, would appear the only thing I can do with it is sell it or use it for bedding. And we haven't got any animals that need bedding, so we're going to sell it. Now, have we got any manure in... Do, 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 uh... We've got loads of manure in there. Um, we can make more if we get more straw. We've got some straw. So we'll just make manure. And probably buy some wood chips. Just take and see what we get for 8,000 litres of this. 
not eggs. It's not eggs, alright. Stop going on about the eggs. That's a nice flat area, I've got an idea for that. Especially being near the water. Oh, actually, while we're here, we'll have a look at that. Those two hay bales to move as well. So many little jobs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Long suspense. Two hundred and sixty five pound. Wait a minute. Sometimes it helps to have these interactive markers on. Can we actually buy from here? And um, we've just switched it. We didn't need to do that. We shouldn't have done that. Uh, no, because we want to empty... I don't want that. We've got our own. And while we're over here with the trailer, we may as well empty one part of what's in that. We actually made a little bit of money on that, didn't we? Just thought I'd check. Bring that into there. Okay. So we run the barley down to the chem shed the price of barley isn't as good as the price of seeds and we've got plenty of equipment or ingredients to make the barley into seeds so any of those cereal crops we can make into seeds which is good and hopefully normal manure which we took from the chem shed will go in
And now we need to get wood chips. Can we buy wood chips? I wonder. Wood chip, wood chip, wood chip. Actually, we might be able to just get it from the production point thing. I'll just finish checking this bit. Everything but. go on to oh, still not moved up I've got a really bad feeling about that <laughs> wood chips where is your wood chip go mm. Nobody sells wood chips, so we're going to need to make wood chips. And we need to bring water over. Definitely no big bag of wood chips, surely somebody does wood chips. What a shame. In that case, on that bombshell, what? We're going to have to make wood chips, which means more purchasing, which I didn't want to do just yet, but we're going to have to. Our old friend from before. Another production sort of thing on the way, I suppose, if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> Here he is, 20 grand. I'm not paying any of this loan back today, am I? Hold on. Stone. Sugar beet, silage, straw, grass. What does it make it into? What on earth does it make that into? I'll have to give that a go for a tester. What colour do we want it? Great boxes with a belt. With a belt, definitely. Design colour's fine. Belt colour. A bit of red belt. <laughs> just going to buy it because it's going to get used a lot <laughs> how many times in this episode are we going to get told off about eggs 
Well, what have we got over here that we can turn into seed? Because we're going to need to get heavy on the seed action. Not roughly there. Sorghum. Soybean. I don't think it turns soybeans into... It's the cereals. And while that's doing, we could do with uh, we're going to need to transport it back as well, aren't we? Of course, we are. To do that, we're going to need a tractor. I think we'll grow all of the trees to start off with in the nursery just to have a look at them. It could be quite nice. Loving this magnum. Because it's free, I mean, it's not anywhere in tear on our equipment. I have to be careful with that when those trees start to grow. Right. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Ba 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 I should probably change the name of this shouldn't we? get it updated need to switch out for some front forks and that will probably be perfect. Will it need a weight on the back is a very good question. Yes, it would need a weight on the back. Have we got a weight here? Oh yeah, we've got one on the scout. Mm. 
where did I put the skin? Around that bit. Do 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 do. Right. I'm just wondering how much is the water pump. And what would it be under? Water pump, 10,000. And that just pumps water all the time. I think... Is it worth getting that? Not yet, but I will have a think about it. Oh, the sale. Hmm. Nope. 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 Oof. Be nice. I think time is ticking. I shall meet you shortly. Okay, we've got our crusher. We now need. Uh, uh, we need a trailer to put that in. I I brought the um, water tanker over. at the same time because I I got the tension strap so I thought I might as well pick them up bring it over with us grab a bit of water and fill it up so we just need to add the wood chips and we should be in the market for making and I'm hoping that takes wood chips but now I need a branch uh, I think we're probably going to end up taking some of these trees down anyway so it's necessarily a bad thing if we are to do this sort of action Now, can I remember how to use it? Absolutely not. Okay, that seems to have worked. <laughs> Too heavy. What are you on about? It's tiny. Unbelievable. It's not very often I would say that I am too small at six foot four. Yeah, there we go. Uh, The wood chips. Lovely. Just before night falls. I'm glad I put my winter gear on as well. It's 
suppose it's fairly handy having bought the crusher because we have got Not as big as I thought it was. But we have got... Um, quite a bit of tree work to clear away if, during winter. There's not going to be a lot else going on. I did want to pull a bit of money in though because there's another idea I've got for another production for winter. Well there's two more productions I want to try and knock in before winter. That will hopefully generate enough money to get us uh, up and running. Yeah, we'll take the lot to start with. And while we're here, uh, keep that on solid fur because there's nowhere selling it. Seeds from you've got sorghum and barley, so you may as well transfer them. Wood chips, nine thousand six hundred and fifty. We only put sixteen hundred in. Still doesn't look very accurate because it's snowing outside, but you get the idea, we'll see how long it takes for these to grow and then how much they're worth when they're done. But very nice. Uh, time is ticking on. So, for the end of the episode, it leaves me to say, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please drop it a like if you haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing so if you've got any comments feel free to drop them in the comment section and um, you know see you on the next one hopefully until then Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.